What is up you guys and welcome back to Cyberpunk 2077. I want you to take a guess at what we're about to do right now. T take a little guess. Do you recognize this alleyway? Do you recognize this staircase? Where are we going right now? Where are we going? Oh, Victor! Victor! I got your money! We scrounged up enough eddies to pay you back in full. Hold on to them just in case. You need them more than me. Nah. Not taking them all the way to my grave. And thanks again for doing so much work on me without ever seeing an any. That's what friends are for. Nice. Okay, I just wanted to get that out of the way. I saw we had the money for it. We have more than enough money for it. So I was I just really wanted to do that. That's so sweet that he offered that we just keep it. Uh, let me see what implants he has. thinking about swapping some chrome. Got any new toys? Have a look. I will. Let's see, what does he have? I guess I don't need Kuroshi optics at all. Operating system. I don't need to change that. I have what I need. Nervous system. Aim and shoot. Increases Sandeva stand duration. Yeah, take that. Absolutely. I think I just own that already. Increases stamina regen by 10%. I mean, it's only 240. Why not? Let's just do that. Restore stamina 10% when you defeat an enemy. Wait, what? Okay, I can have all of those. Cool, cool, cool. Just making sure. How are things? How's Biz going? Uh, can't complain. Corporals learn to keep their distance, and Sokka's back hiring lone mercs. They all gotta have the newest, shiniest implants. Hmm. Think you got Misty here to help. Handles your griping well. Yeah, renting out her shop's the best decision I ever made. You know what? Seems like you're the only person in Night City who's happy with his lot. You get to a certain age, you drop all your illusions. Life just gets easier from there. You know what? That's a good outlook to have. When you're young, you're, you're more likely to put yourself in danger. Chasing ideals, but Victor, he made it. He reached that point in his life where it's like, I'm good. I'm happy where I'm at. Not many people get that. Always chasing something. Hey, Misty. What are you? Where's the Where's the dude? Oh, he's sleeping. He's sleeping. All right, I won't bug him. So we left off on a pretty emotional episode last episode. A lot of stuff happened. We got with River. We did the Joshua mission, which ugh, broke my heart. We did the Delamain mission, which I feel like is a little controversial. My choice. I don't know. I haven't seen any any reaction to the episode yet. It's not even currently edited where I'm at right now. I'm just getting right into the next episode. And I'm thinking for reward for for you guys seeing me go through what I went through. We're going to do a little bit of a Panam mission now. From way back. Doesn't matter. Just as a thanks for everyone bearing with me in those trying times. I was down bad. <laughs> I really was. But anyways, let's let's go see what Panam's up to. She called us a while ago. Oh, that's not where I want to be. She called us a while ago asking for our help. And we had yet to get back to her because we had so much on our plate. So let's just get into that and ask her what's up. We are almost there. I chose to drive because this song was on and this song kills every time and never misses. It's never a bad time to listen to Chippin' In. Alright, let's go. I say as I turn it off. I hear it. It's on my Spotify. I got it. Alright, um, Pan Am? Oh, you guys are just- oh, she littered. She littered. You guys are just hanging out. The rest will stay here in camp. I want patrols every half hour, reporting directly to me. <laughs> are we preparing for a visit from Biotechnica? Hey, hey guys. You're here. What is she doing here? 
I forbade you from even breathing on that Militech convoy, so you call in your friend? Whoa! To do it all behind my back? Is that it? What happened? Uh-huh. That's exactly why I had V come and stand right in front of you. Do you really think you can forbid Pan Am from doing anything? Trust me. No point. She'll do whatever she wants. No, she won't. Not if she plans to stay in this family. Who? Damn it to hell, Saul. Are you seriously considering letting that basilisk slip through our fingers? I am. But a chance like this. A chance at what? <laughs> Rotting up the job we came here to do? Oh, it seems a lot changed while I was away. Yeah. Completely different. No. Nothing has changed at all. It's sarcasm, Saul. The Biotechnica people will be here in an hour. Try not to cock anything else up before then. So he's going through with the deal. It. Look, there he goes, off to paint the grass green. Thought the Biotechnica contract had withered and died. Saul insists we see it through to the end. To prove the Aldecaldos keep their word. Crop protection? Who gives a damn about crop protection? All Saul is going to prove is that a corp can walk all over us, and we'll say thank you and ask for more. Hmm. What's this basilisk nonsense? It's an armored Militech cargo panzer. Junk from back in 2060 or so. They want to pedal it off to a backwards country, somewhere it can still pass as a technological wonder. The Militech convoy will take the 101 right past us. Shame not to say hello. Hmm. Okay, I see. Let me guess. Whole thing's your idea? How did you know? Saul so wouldn't be quite so pissed if it weren't. I believe V is right. If this had been Saul's idea, he would have seen it as the greatest plan on God's green earth. Bull. Saul isn't that petty. He's simply a coward. He would rather play it safe, bide his time. Come in, all the family. This is Snake Nation, hmm. I repeat. Snake Nation. Snake Nation. This basilisk worth another fight with Saul. Yes, a craft like that would finally put us back on the right path. The family is falling apart. If we fall into this biotechnica rut, no one will ever take us seriously again. Okay, so you do want to go behind Saul's back. Drag me here specifically for that. Cassidy, of Ted, Carol, and Bob also on board. Remember, a while back, told me to give you a solid kick in the pants if I saw you diving in the stupid pool again. I do. Yet that was before our tandem raid on the Raffin camp. I believe you lost your opportunity there. Okay. Nope. Different that. Rescue mission. Someone from the family. Uh, no. You're out to plain tricking. If you plan to lecture me, you can damn well go right now. <sighs> Pan Am. I, I understand why she's doing this. I, I get it, but v? man... I wish everyone was on the same page. Thought you and Solid agreed to bury your carbines. So did I. But it seems that's only true when somebody is trying to kill us. Exactly. You saved his life. You wanna fuck things up all over again now? I saved his life. Yet somehow he still ignores everything I say. So I do believe we have come full circle. Hmm. Why Saul got his briefs in a bunch over this basilisk? He's afraid Militech will destroy us if we pick a fight with it. He thinks it's safer to stick with the corporations. Probably. Like Biotechnica. <laughs> what a joke. And you guys would rather... We would rather go back to plying the trade we know best. Logistics. Meaning smuggling. That's what I said. <laughs> I mean, he's trying to make peace. I get it. But it seems like a lot of his people aren't on board, apparently, so... What's gotten into you? It's rough. It's it's rough for Saul. I feel for Saul. I really do. As the leader, he he's probably really torn about this. And you plan to grab the basilisk, how? Thanks, V. Haven't said I'd help just yet. <laughs> okay, let's go talk to the rest. She knows. She knows I'll do anything for her. She knows we're besties. We have some steep stairs. Mitch is kind of cute. Is it just me? So, just the four vets on board with the plan. Nobody else. We didn't bother asking the others. There was too great a risk someone would take it to Saul. Mm. Besides, only the vets understand what we have to gain by having a basilisk. Sounds pretty risky to me. On the contrary, easy as pie. There won't even be much security on the convoy. Plus, we'll be doing our part towards furthering the cause of world peace. 
Why should this beast wind up being used in some little third world skirmish? Okay. We'll make better use of it right here in America. <laughs> All right, Mitch. The mental gymnastics. I understand both sides. Did you try to Jesus. get Saul on board again? No luck, huh? No. Okay, everyone listen. My no God. Transport the Let me, Let me sit down. Distributed across two trucks. Wait, do I sense a quiver in your voice? Fuck you. The convoy will halt at the railroad crossing on the 101. We'll attack from behind, then get the hell out and away. Questions? Comments? Motions? Nice job, sunshine. Mm-hmm. Damn short, sweet, and pertinent. None of that sad sack bullshit Saul likes to tack on. All right. Pan Am's got a beef with Saul. I know, but you guys? A few years back, nobody would have given Corporal work a second thought. We want a good name. We just need good gear and good jobs. And Saul would see that if he pulled his head out of his caboose once in a while. Okay. Yeah, it's all too easy. Convenient to arrange. The exact tech you need. Come in your way, almost served on a silver platter. Yes, Saul also claimed it stinks the high heaven. Intel on the convoy. Kinda does. Carol hacked the Militech comms channel. Is that enough for you? All right, fine. Okay. I'm in. You know I'll do it. Hmm. Okay, thanks. Look at her switch up so quickly. Oh, we're friends the train still. Engine we need to block the convoy's way is there. Are you riding with us, or will we meet you there? I'll ride with you. Riding with you. Excellent. Let's get going. All right. I think I heard a little shake in that voice. <laughs> you did not. Ah, uh, come on. Did you get your hands clammy too? Screw you. <laughs> She's but finally taking charge. Sure you didn't leave any tracks? Militech won't notice a thing. They're giving her flack for it. Okay, okay. Forget I even asked. Ugh, girl. You better hope no one gets hurt. She's always making these bold decisions, but when someone gets hurt, you know she's going to take the blame for it. What are we doing? What's going on? Pan Am? What are we doing? She froze. I think the game just glitched. We're stuck here. What's going on? Pan Am, drive. We're both just stuck here. Um, oh, let's go. Oh, okay. Nobody's going to notice <laughs> you gone back to camp. Saul has no wish to see us there anyway. The better to make a good second impression on the biotechnica suits. Your sour faces wouldn't help much. Indeed, they would not. They would not. And the Raffins, what about them? Expecting any trouble? Saul is. He's posted sentries all around the camp. How is that not right? He's wrong in continuing to fight the symptoms rather than the disease. It is rough. It's rough for Saul. I feel for him. Don't miss life in Night City. At times, perhaps. I miss the feeling of having a new beginning, of freedom. But I also haven't forgotten the emptiness. The feeling of realizing it means nothing if you're alone. Yeah, took adjustment on my part too. Though, never was completely alone. You had someone? Hmm. A true friend. Jackie by name. You would've liked him, actually. Jackie? Maybe. I'll remember that. I could see them getting along a little bit. But yeah, she's getting her first taste of real leadership with this. That's why they were making fun of her. Like, oh, is your voice shaking? We have arrived. I mean, we'll see how it goes. They're really with her on this, but... Man, she's undermining the head of the community. That, that's, that's not a good thing to Big do. Bastard. If you like it so much, maybe we should just hijack the train. Let the basilisk oh. go on its way. River texted me. 
said, hey, Viaz, tidying up the bedroom when I realized there's way more space here than I need all to myself. If you ever want to leave a few things at my place, feel free. Something cozy to slip into or maybe just a box of grenades. You know, the usual. Aw. River, can I talk back to him? I don't, do, am I going to leave him on red? Oh, there we go. Oh, this isn't it. Right here. I can't, I'm ghosting him. I ghosted him. <laughs> Why can't I respond to that? Uh, I can reply to this. How are you holding up? Okay, I, I didn't even know what that is. Been a roller coaster of a ride lately, so biz as usual. You managed to unwind what, unwind yet, uh, unwind yet? Which beer are you on right now? Yeah, then just drive this beast to the 101. There and back. Sol would be on board with that. Are we ready? Uh, yes. Okay. The Militech convoy will be traveling from Night City to the base where they're due to meet the buyer. We will stop it at the railroad crossing. We All we will have stop to do it. is shove this beauty in its way. V, any questions? Yeah, is Mitch single? I'm kind of looking at him right now. Plan to move this thing how exactly? It's old tech. Carol will have to hack it. Then I'll somehow have to finagle authorization from the control tower to move it. Tower looks inactive to me, too. Yeah, we'll see to that. You and Pan Am just get the authorization code. Okay, let's get to work. All right, let's do this. I'm with you. But she's undermining Saul. It's really going to make him look bad. It's going to make the whole group look weak if they're this divided. But I mean, if he's not listening... Alright, she's working on that. I can... I don't know, find a window? Can I get up here? <laughs> yeah, you can get up there. Pan Am? How did you weasel your way in there? I mean, here I opened the damned door. Be right there. Girl, you gotta have hops. You gotta have hops to get on my level. Should have followed me. Oh, I almost fell. I've always been fond of trains. Mm. And the stations where so many tracks converge. Hmm. Junctions. Yes, those. When you see them from above, you feel free. Like you could set off on a thousand journeys all at once. Perhaps more simply hopeful hmm okay here we are okay Carol what are we looking for on guard what cards oblong cards holes in rows and columns would you help me look um, yeah. Sure thing. I don't punch- I don't know what punch guards are. Nothing here. <laughs> I don't e- I don't know either, Benam. We are in the same boat. Punch cards? Punch card instructions. That's not it. Should be... Here? Nothing here. Here? Okay, off the hmm. There we go. Oh, well, well. Look at Pan Am nagging me in the background. Oh, my goodness. Girl, I'm helping you. Got something. Good job. Thank you. That's all I wanted to hear. That's all I needed. Carol, we have a card. What now? You have to put it in the reader. Well, V? The card in the reader. Okay, you don't even know what that means. You don't even know how to do that. Here goes nothing. Oh, it worked. Come look. I see it. Little engine that could. I love that Johnny never says anything bad about her. He likes her. V, I wanted to speak with you. Oh. 
What do you want to talk about? I know this may sound foolish, because I asked you to help me. But... Why are you doing this? Because it's important to you. But... is that all? I... Sorry, that sounded worse than I intended. Any more questions? No, I know everything I need to, I believe. Perhaps I should send Rogue flowers to thank her for introducing us. Mm, not really your style, don't think. I would add a card. Thank you for giving me a true friend, you manipulative whore. That's my girl. All right, let's rejoin the others. All right. I understand her trust issues. From the people she's met in Night City, they haven't really given her a reason to feel trusted. I'm not an Aldecado. I'm not a nomad. Convoy, got eyes and ears on it? Yes, Carol checks their communication channels from time to time. Everything is proceeding as planned. For now. I mean, to her, it should make no, make no sense why I would have any loyalty to her. Because I'm not a nomad, not an Aldecado. I feel like I'm saying them wrong. Aldecado? Aldecado? But to her, it's just, it does not compute why I would be there. Oh, Saul? Do you know where Pan Am is? No idea. Oh my gosh, Saul. She's never in the camp when you need her. When you see her, tell her I'm looking for her. I can't believe you bought that. But I just, I really love their friendship so much. I kind of wish there was a romance option. But, you know, I can respect it. Respect it for what it is. It's just, they seem like such an unlikely duo at first. Like, their, their energies are so, are both so bold and so similar. That it, they almost clash. Pan Am's... We could still I don't know. Down a minute, honey. And breathe. Everything's under control. The convoy is already heading our way. Hmm. Alright, can I sit? Let me sit. Hurry up and wait. You look like the dude who betrays everyone in the Matrix. As if you're the first person ever to stand up to Saul. Ah, save your breath. I don't need to be consoled. Ugh. Was it someone I know? New. No. Scorpion. You came home from the war, head full of new ideas and a host of new contacts. He tried to get Saul to lead us in joining Snake Nation. It would make us stronger, he said. I don't think he peeped a word of it to me. What did Saul do? Saul dressed the guy down head to toe for messing with the family. Hell, he didn't send him on any jobs for a year. Gee, hmm. really consoling. Thanks. You said yourself you didn't need any. <laughs> don't talk about the war much. What's there to say? They just packed you into a panzer down in Mexico and said full speed ahead, soldier. Then it was weeks talking either to yourself or the onboard AI. Drinking iodide like water because your Geiger wouldn't shut up. Mm-hmm. Yeesh. I'm sprouting a rash on my ass just thinking about sitting in that boiling hot coffin. Uh-huh. But you all can't wait to pack your asses into the basilisk, huh? That's different. Completely different. You'll see once you're on board. Ought to raise a glass to Scorpion. To Scorpion. To Scorpion. And to Jackie. Pan Am! That's so sweet. I love that. That's, oh my god, I'm gonna cry. Gonna try and get some sleep. Okay, it'll be quite some time before the convoy comes through. <laughs> Couldn't sleep if you tried, could you?
She's so pretty. I'll just lie here a while, by her side, gazing at the stars. That another area of your expertise? Got maps of the heavens in your library, too? Of course. That's the Big Dipper. And do you see the small flickering star to the right? Yeah. No. You do? Oh, dear. That means there's a major leak. I don't get it. Is that a joke? Be. I, I don't get that one. Someone explain it. Someone explain that one to me. Okay, here they come. Is everyone ready? Oh, oh my goodness. Let's ride, V. I just won't hold on. Why did no one wake me up like five minutes earlier? Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. I'm ready. Boy, get in the car. What is he doing? We gotta go. What's happening over there? All right, who we fighting? Who we fighting? I hear this battle music. <laughs> These car rides are so slow. Right. She's moving. Get her up to speed. Let's go. I'm ready. They're going faster than we thought. I don't know if we can catch them. Uncouple one of the cars. It'll speed you up. V, no coming and hauling. Take out that coupler. Okay. Um, where? Where? There we go. I see it. We're getting close. Get some snow. E V, shoot out the damn coupler. I'm trying. There we go. That's it. You don't need the other one. Surround them as soon as they're cut off. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Ooh, they got tricks. There we go. Shit. Probably jammed Fuck again. Me. Um, can I get out? Get me out, get me out, get me out. We're about to fight. Oh my god, there's so many people. Oh, you're good, you're good, you're safe. Almost killed my own people. Hello. Who else? Who else? Who else? Over here. Too late. Too slow. Haha. Uh Mitch, Bob, go. All is got it, boss. All right, the train's leaving. You'd better move. Oh my goodness. All right, we're going, we're gone, we're gone, we're good. Man, you just, this sand Devastan is so deadly. So deadly, I'm such okay, a threat now. Go. Ready to roll. Whew. How you feel about that? No one even had to lay a finger. I, I handled all of that. You guys could have just left me to it. Girl, let's not start celebrating too quickly. Let's be a little more serious. How's it going there, V? Did you have fun? Sure did. Mm-hmm. Just be happy you won't be around to put the hunk of junk together. The real fun is just starting with Mitch and Teddy. All right, I mean, we got it, but <laughs> who's going to come looking for it, you know? You still gotta be careful. Oh, 
All right, everybody. Get ready. I can talk to him if you want. No, thank you. I'll take care of this myself. Oh, she gonna get it. Someone turn that horn off. My gosh. Oh, <laughs> he mad. He mad. Hold on. Let me explain for my girl real quick. He don't even so care. Begins. He don't even care. You got it. You got it. What's the meaning of this? Exactly what you see. The basilisk. All I see is two trucks with giant Militech logos on them. Fuck, Pan Am. You can see them from miles away. You think we don't have problems enough on our hands? The Raffins could rear their heads at any moment. And now we have Militech to worry about, too. Stop it! Fuck! Just shut up already! Dang! Do you want to serve corporations forever? Fine! Go right ahead! In that case, we'll leave the Basilisk as a souvenir of what this family used to be. Or you know what? Maybe next time we're attacked, we'll be able to fight back! As soon as I'm done with Biotechnica, we call a family meeting to discuss this. Discuss you. Until that time, I want these trucks out of my sight. And the Basilisk? Can we put it together? Do what you want. Just get out of my sight. <laughs> Bob, Mitch, you two take the trucks around back. We need to unload. Sure, but then what do we do with them? Oh, I've got an idea. Can someone turn that horn off, please? Got quite a pair of lungs there. Thanks. I believe the last time I pulled something like that, I was 10 years old. Seems still to be in fine working order. Hmm. Everything okay? Yes, of course. <laughs> Though the great train robbery bit of this was much more enjoyable. Hmm. You need me again? Thank you. Get that out of here. Do is call. V. I'm sure I will. So you better expect that call. Be waiting. Take care. All right, girl. You take care. My goodness, she yelled. I can't imagine that looks good for in front of the rest of the family, though. New job. Queen of the highway. Huh? Leave the camp and wait a day until the basilisk is ready? Okay, I can do that. In the meantime, let's do this one. Not sure what this is about. Nyx is in the afterlife. The last time I went to the afterlife, I did have an audio glitch, and it was just in the afterlife. I'm not sure why. So hopefully that resolved itself. But if there is an audio glitch, it'll probably go away afterwards, after I leave the afterlife, so... I don't know, we'll see. It was weird last time it happened. I have been getting audio glitches. I don't know why. In my almost two years, it just starts happening. But right, here we go. We'll find out in post. Thank you, Emmerich. Hey, V. Good to see you. How's it going? Hey! How are you? This is booming, I hope. Seen it yourself. Can't complain. Folks always get thirsty, and we're here when they do. Alright. Just checking on you. Hey, Nick. V, baby, listen. Got a yarn for you. Quick biz, that is. You interested? Mm-hmm. Alright, lay it on me. Was cruising the net, you feel? And I spotted an interesting classified. Wait, let me guess. Performance enhancers? He used Mr. Stud cheap? Now, I'm a serious man, V. And serious matters are what, if not all, that concern me. Somebody's selling a book of spells. Edition dating from before the first net crash. Might not mean much to you, but it sounds like a treasure to a net runner. Fucking Dead Sea Scroll, yummy. You want hmm. me to clep it for you, don't you? Uh, uh No clepping required. Just buy the damn thing. Oh. Reimburse you twofold. 
It's a bit of an easy job. Can't you get it? Sending me out to do your shopping? Want a case of Nicola with that? Algae chips? Think on it, V. A treasure, and someone's willing to part with it. Now who does that? The hard up, V. And Desperado's got this unsavory side. They're unpredictable. One word off their mood, and they reach for their heat. That's why I need you to meet the seller. You got heat at the ready. Okay. Understandable. Okay. Will do. That's my girl. Don't, don't, don't say that. Yourself. I don't know you like that. And luck be with you all the way. Well, only River can say that at the moment. Nick shared a contact with you? Reno, got it. Get me out of here. Get me out of here, it's loud. And everyone's drunk. Oh, Joss is texting me too, hold on. Said, hey V, hope all is well. I don't mean to meddle in your personal business, but I couldn't help noticing you've got t something going on. I just want you to know, I'd be thrilled if you were part of our little family. I see how River looks at you. I really hope you'll give him a chance. Oh, and don't tell him that I messaged you, okay? Oh my god. She is kind of meddling a little bit. She could back off a little bit. So I saw the way you were looking at us. My situation isn't that stable right now, so I don't want to make any promises, but I'll think about it. I care about River a lot. Don't worry, V. I get it. I appreciate your honesty. Not that it wasn't even any of my business. Anyway, the kids and I, we all like you a lot. You're always welcome to stop by. The kids say hi, meaning they're hoping you'll drag your butt back over here for a rematch. XOXO. Ah, she does kind of meddle a bit, though. She really does. Oh, I didn't mean to press that. I didn't mean to press that. I meant to call. Get me out of slow-mo. No! Get me out of here. I just wanted to call. Hey, you looking for the book? Uh, yeah. Sounds about right. Price non-negotiable. You'll need to pay in full on pickup. Clear enough. Agreed. Prem, I flipped you the address. Come by your lonesome. Okay. Sending you coordinates. Now, please? Coordinates now? Um. Okay, there we go. Ah, oh, it took her long enough. Oh, there's a teleporter thingy. She said, come alone, I have eyes everywhere. Girl, it is not that serious for me. Alrighty. Uh, I need to get up there. There we go. Ah. Uh, hello? Uh, yeah? She said, I see you. That's you right here. Spellbook. You got it? I do indeed. Tucked away somewhere safe. You want coordinates? I need to see my money. Oh my gosh. Damn this stinks to high hell. But okay. Take you at your word. You won't regret it. Better not. Or you will. Bigly. Giving you my word on that. Is Bigly a word? Just flipped you the coordinates. Mm-hmm. We'll see. Uh, can you send them a little faster this time? Because, man, you had me waiting. Had me holding my breath. Okay, hopefully I'm not out $8,000. Because that would be a little silly of me. Oh, Joss? Joss? Oh my gosh. Sending you still Randy. Hope it won't be long before he can thank you in person. <laughs> This picture looks so bunk. <laughs> Update on Randy, he's slowly easing back into things. It's hard to believe, but it looks like everything's gonna be all right. Can't imagine how grateful I am. That's sweet. <laughs> they could have done a little better with that picture though. They could have put a little more effort into it. Um. Uh, what's this? 
looks like trash. Ah, oh, the Zeta Tech XPR. Top of the line back in the day. And? That's it. Let me look. Uh, do I even bother trying to crack it? I feel like I don't need to. I'm not a net runner. Uh, let me look at it. Why not? It's giving me the option. It's probably not gonna bite me that badly. Look, there it is. Let's can try. I haven't done one of these in so long. Uh, sure. 55. Ugh, I don't know what I'm doing. How am I failing? I don't know how I did that. BBS rumor mills actually turned out some truth that Zeta Tech Fort is an effing Alcatraz. Modified pit bulls at each entry port, speed traps, and see it at, at access points. I can't read right now. It is late. Soon as I step foot in their net, they set flatline on my ass. Nice try, Zeta, but a little aardvark and killer VI combo meal did away with that. But for real, it wasn't easy. My trusted Elisla... Elisla was smoking like a flare gun by the time by the end of it, but I got the job done. Don't believe me. Check it yourself. I left a little note on the top of the Zeta's fortress where their logo used to be. Spider Murphy was here. Oh, Spider Murphy. That's Johnny's friend. He actually did it. Bart Moss unleashed data crash. Whole nets falling apart before my very eyes. Data fusing together. Fortresses melting like ice cream. Ones and zeros flooding the information highway. Wow. Bart Moss was wrong. Everyone was wrong. The net was a mirror held up to our thoughts and dreams, our lives. Bart Moss took it and shattered it into pieces, thinking that that would be enough. But as it happens, you can still see our, your reflection in every shattered, shattered piece of glass. Now instead of one mirror, we have thousands of them. Every corp, government, gang now has their own net they can roll with an iron fist with no regulation, no accountability. They laugh so hard the world trembles at its very core. So he just made things more complicated. Whoops. Alright, let's get back to... Let's get back to Nyx. River again? Hey V, hope everything's alright with you. I'm really glad you dropped by, missing you already. We should do that again, especially the second half of the evening. Oh, I'm all for round two. I've already got some new ideas that'll drive you crazy. Okay, I don't... <laughs> Whoa, hold on, hold on. Let me not... Let me not read all that. About the thing with Johnny, I can imagine it must be pretty hard on you. If you ever need to talk, I'm here. Thank you, River. He said, I'm just happy, like dumb happy. You know, you're really amazing. Oh, that's so sweet. Just remember, you can always count on me for anything. Hmm. I don't know what that means, but it sounded playful. All right, we are here. Let's go check on Nyx. Hopefully no glitches, please no glitches. Emmerich, let me through, don't play with me, man. You already know what it is, God. Hey, v. good to see you, how's it going? I love this song, thank you for playing this song. So, you got the book? Yes, sir. You got my Eddie's? As I says, V, I am a serious man. Amount is agreed. All yours. Thanks a bunch. Don't mention it. It's money well deserved. Thank you. 11,000. Oh, I guess that does make up for how much I had to buy. All right, I'm gonna leave that part right there. Thank you so much for watching. Felt a little bit more low energy. It is currently 2.46 in the morning, so sleep schedule, non-existent. But thank you so much for watching. I had to be a little bit, I'm, I'm saying that because I had to be a little bit more quiet. But thank you so much for watching again. I'll see you in the next one. Love Pan Am, love her story. It's always so fun to see her again. Goodbye. <laughs>